Hello everyone, this is Dan Central here and I'm actually joined by Shock Sixty. And uh, we thought we'd do um, a different type of video today, uh, considering we're in the same location. Um, and it's not going to be gaming related for once, so something different. Uh, we thought we'd do a collection video, but this time we thought we'd do it on 90s dance CDs and uh, the Clubland albums. Um, I have a fair few, not every one that's been released. And I think there's probably a fair few that might do if they're really dedicated, but again, you know, money and stuff, it's not easy to collect every single one because if, if you are aware of the series, you'll know how many there are. We're going to start with um, some kind of miscellaneous um, dance CDs. I'm going to point out as well that this is Dan's collection. This, all of these are Dan's. <laughs> but I asked Shock if you would be interested in uh, being a part of it, and uh, he said, yeah, and also, I'll, help he, I'll be an assistant, you know I mean? He can be an assistant, and he, <laughs> he gets to uh, sit on the Dan Central sofa, which a lot of you see me on anyway. Hey, Miss Dan Central Central. So what's Shock's got first of all? Well, first off, I've got Strike You Sure Do. You sure make me feel like loving you. You sure do. Loving you, yeah, <laughs> baby. Yeah, so, classic tune. Everyone's going to know this one. Obviously, being the CD single, it's got three remixes. Yeah, even though the seven inch mix was kind of like the radio edit, wasn't it? But it was still. With a seven inch. With a seven inch, though. There you go. Next up, we've got, got that hit from 1998. It's the Tampera. Feel it! Featuring Maya. Dun, 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 the bass on that for, for that era as well was just like pumping. Yeah, I think it was about 98, quite a dominant um, dominant track of the summer. I think it was actually, and it's got, well as the original mix, it's got three remixes. I don't believe it got to UK number one, no. There you go, not surprised, it's a, it's a pumping tune. No, so I'm got not next. sure if I know this one, it's Divine Inspiration, The Way. Oh, put your, yeah. put your hand oh. in my hand. <laughs> I will show you the way and you will understand. Nah, I don't think I know that one. Don't worry. That one's almost passed me by. It's a good track. Some of you may know it. If you do, let me know. Um, as well as the radio edit again. It's got two remixes, including an Entrance remix. So oh, even, Entrance. even Entrance even remixed this track. So um, I think that's what swayed it for me in, in, back in the day to pick it up, actually. So Now here's one I do remember. That's the Carter. American Dream. Do the film American Beauty, and then mm. oh, you keep getting stuck. And then they took the main sort of piano theme from it, and then obviously danced it up. So Jakarta, American Dream. Bit of Faithless. Which one's this one? Take the long way home. Mm. Bit of Faithless, man. Love a bit of Faithless. And again, what do we got? Radio mix and three remixes. I'm not going to name all the remixes because that would take way too long. But um, I like the CD actually. Nice blue colour. And uh, blue colour. <laughs> That's blue colour. Oh no, if you don't know this one, you've been Another under, one. <laughs> you've been living under a rock. It's faithless. Insomnia. Dun 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 I can't get no sleep. Tearing off tights with his teeth. Yeah he was back then, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, there's about five mixes on here, so um enough to keep you entertained if you're a fan. Oh another one, classic. What's this? 94? Robert Miles, children. Dun dun dun. That's classic, that's been on so many albums like. And it's not only the original has been surfaced a lot, but also it's been mixed quite a bit as well. You'll, you'll hear like new mixes by other artists where you've got the, that kind of track still in the background and they've taken it and done their own thing with it. So yeah, the dream version actually is quite good and uh, there's another few um, mixes on there as well. So that's what I liked about singles Dude. back in the day. Lots of remixes and oh, stuff. No, I know these people because they did um, Salt Water. And but this is Thunderstroke by Chicane. Chicane! I do like Chicane a lot actually. They also did Poppy, Poppy Holler, mm. which was um, <laughs> taking a piano melody from a popular uh, TV series. Lots of remixes. Even DJ Quicksilver did a remix. Oh, well, I've met. You met DJ Quicksilver? In about 97, I met him. Really? <laughs> no way. Because he did. Um, um, Free Me? Is it Free um, Me? And Blissima. Blissima. Bellissima. Couldn't think of the name. Yeah. And what I like about this CD as well is that like you've got a bit of stuff in the middle and then the outside is kind of transparent. Yeah, it's quite gorgeous. Yeah. There you go. Relax. We like too. But yeah, <laughs> lots of mixes on this one as well. Um, so there you go, Chicane Sunstroke. 
Again, big fan of Chicane. From here, some of you may remember a label called the Positiva label. It was very, very popular and very, very uh, famous in that it had the kind of white cross kind of logo, I suppose. Very dominant during the 90s. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. When it came to dance music, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, I've got four here anyway that I've kind of... I've been in charity shops and if I've seen one I don't have, I've just kind of picked it up. So, um, first one I've actually got is a really good um, dance collaboration actually called DJ Sakin and Friends. Some of you may have heard of them because they remixed um, The Love of a Princess from Braveheart. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, is that what's sampled on that actual? Uh, well, the, this one's actually No Man's Land, David's song, which is oh. slightly different. However, it does feature um, a remix on track three of Protect Your Mind, The Love of a Princess. And then without trying to confuse anybody, the next one is actually based on Protect Your Mind, <laughs> For The Love of a Princess. So this one is like all about that song, and then the first one has just got that tagged on the end, so. So for all of you about your hashtag Braveheart, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this one's basically got, yeah, the vocal edit, the Lange remix, and the Isla remix of um, the Braveheart track. And then this one features a, kind of a shortened version of one of the remixes on this one. Yeah. Just to confuse you a little bit. <laughs> then we've got Watergate, Heart of Asia. Oh, classic you, you remember Heart of Asia? Yeah, Heart of Asia. Heart of Asia basically remixes a track by Ryuichi Sakamoto, if I pronounced that right, mm -hmm. called Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. And it's the one that went do 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 did their own stuff with it, remixed it, and that's what we got. No! Oh, but a spiller! A bit of lead vocals by Sophie Ellis Bexter. Went rap into it. <laughs> she went off and did a bit of solo stuff, didn't she? Yeah, but you, you don't see it now, do you? No, she did. She... Man on the dance floor. Then <laughs> let's do the groove, <laughs> DJ. So, yeah. It's Sophie Ellis Bexter. She was hot. Yeah, she's there, look. Yeah, she was hot, man. She had like a bit, she of, was. A bit of a weird face, but she was, <laughs> she was hot in a weird way, weren't she? In a weird, yeah, in a weird way. In a weird way. In a weird way. So there you go, there, guys. I can remember as well, that track went up against uh, Victoria Beckham's King oh, of the I of my mind with Dave Bowers. It was both battling for number one and that one got to number one. And it's still a, like an anthem to today. And you never heard of the Victoria Beckham one, do you? No. That kind of like disappeared out of obscurity. Well, I, I used to love this song anyway, like Lowe's. Like, mm. right, the same love. Oh yeah, it was a lot better song. I think that's why I did that. And... I mean, the other great thing that I've not even said, actually, is that there are... Da -da 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 two remixes on there as well. I didn't realise that was on the positive line. Yeah. yeah Would you believe? Obviously there's loads more out there, I just haven't discovered that many more of them as of yet. Discovered. Discovered them! Before we get onto Clubland, because that's going to be a little bit epic, um, another massive favourite of mine, and I'm sure Shox is actually as well, at least back in the 90s, was a DJ called Sash, Sash. who was just epic. Um, he absolutely tore up the dance floor in the 90s, in my opinion. Um, I was meant to go and see him live, in London, but um, long story short, um, set times unfortunately got messed up. And when we got there, we were told he was actually playing later than we were told previously. And by that point, we had to come home again because obviously I don't live in London and we would have missed the last train home. So after all that, I got a picture with him, which actually I may even put somewhere on this video. Um, otherwise, we missed the entire set. So that was part of the picture. That was pointless. Um, so massively gut, as you can imagine. I did actually message him and he was like, oh, yeah, like he, he did feel for us, but there we are. It's not like he could do, he was the one that got messed about, he didn't do the change himself, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go for some Sash singles and I've got some albums as well. So, it was on the Multiply record label yeah. and basically most releases he did all had different colours. So it was almost like, collect the colours. <laughs> so the first one is an absolute classic smash and that's Ecuador. Ecuador! My favourite Sash tune. Is that your favourite song? Favourite one by Sash. There you go. Clubhead's remix, Power Plant Inject this mix. Nice. Yes. There's also even got a mix of on Carl Foix, which is good because some of the songs are yeah, in that. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously, totally orange. Probably based. the song that made him uh, famous. Yeah, for Carl Foix. I would probably say that and definitely on Carl Foix. Yeah. yeah. That and That's then, one that oh, put that him in the spotlight. And then yeah, and then Ecuador kind of just continued yeah. to kind of, you know. Um, I always preferred Ecuador. See, I, I'm. I'm on Corin Foy kind of guy. <laughs> the next one actually is um, a collaboration he did with Tina Cousins, yeah, who cool. um, were quite a good dance act back in the back in the day. They actually did a remix on Clubland of Sex on Fire, and that is Tina Cousins. So mysterious times. These are mysterious times. <laughs> 
and obviously red based. But red. Again, you've got Todd Terry Club mix. Todd Terry was quite ah, yeah, prolific back in the day. day. So, um, yeah, good what stuff on there. Todd Terry, yeah. He, did I think he, he did a mix? song with like Rosie Gaines or something, didn't he? Did he, did he do um, a mix of um, Everything But the Girls? Is it missing? Stir Path, Third Trip? No, uh, yeah, yeah. he could, could have done. Walking but he actually, he actually, he actually had, he actually had like his own track in the comment one morning. We'll have to research that later. Quite a bit of a banger. A bit of a banger. It's a bit, it's not a massive it, banger, it's a bit of a banger. <laughs> then the last couple of singles I've got in terms of Sasha's stuff, uh, I've actually got both versions, because what he would do, a lot of his songs he'd release two different mm. versions, and I actually confused shots a little bit on Facebook, because I put one colour up once, and he had the other one, or I think something like he yeah, didn't realise. Yeah, Ecuador. Oh, is it Ecuador? Yeah, yeah like, here's his orange, and my, I've got like a turquoise, he's blue. Oh, yeah, it was Ecuador, Ecuador. like. It was Ecuador, and then yeah, Chucks is like, how's yours a different colour? But it's because they're two different, so obviously Chucks is one where they're two totally completely different remixes to mine. Then we've got obviously one of the one of his great tracks as well, Stay, which he did with La Trek. La Trek. La Trek. So I can just show both actually because it's the same song, but obviously different remixes. So obviously the purple one. Well, Armin Van Helden. Yeah, mine. What a, yeah, what a, what a DJ. A big name on the dance circuit. Loop to loops vocal mix. So yeah, it was great that a lot of like you know '90s DJs got involved and sort of you know jumped on board and re remixed a lot of Sasha stuff. And then the other Sasha version we've got hmm, Magnificent Four remix. Nothing that jumps no, out at me that, that, I, that I know of, but there we go. So you got you got a silver one and a and a purpley one. Like you get in the CD <laughs> stuck. Right, moving on to Sasha's albums. Um, first one I've got is one called Life Goes On. One of his earlier ones. Um, again, so many good tracks on this. I mean, La Primavera, remember that? I remember more of his, like, really. It's like. It, well, it's got Move Mania. We are oh, living yeah. in a Move Mania. Yeah. Colour of the World. Colour the World. And, um, yeah, etc. And actually, right at the end, there's a, a Sash Hit mix, which basically mixes on Carmen Foire, Ecuador, and Stay as like a one long mega mix. So it goes from one track to the next without stopping, which. So is you go. epic. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Well, these CDs will be broke by the oh, time they will. this video. They will. And then I've actually got two copies of his It's My Life album. One was over here and one was like in different basic nationwide they got the, the world's got two different covers depending on what country it was. Um I actually can't remember which country I would say that's ours because that was Oh that, that one is. Yeah. And I know that because I bought that in the UK. Yeah. This one's Countries abroad, I just can't think. But you can tell by like the um, yeah, the cover. So it's like like like, like European one, and that's yeah. Well, it says Scandinavian. Oh, Scandinavian. Hmm. Okay, cool. So is that well? I say it's exactly the same. The other thing is that if you look the track listing, the same songs are on there, but they're all in different orders. So that starts with Mighty Break. Oh, okay. That starts with It's My Life, which is down there, and then Cheating Twister is like up there, but it's down there. So there you go. the other thing is that the actual <laughs> track listings of the two different versions of the album are completely different. So let's see if you can. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that they start with different track names, but they're all included. Yeah, the, that one, the silver one, This my sister had this one back in the day, and yeah, that got blasted. It got blasted <laughs> big time. And then, yeah, I, th I think, I, I'm sure I picked this up in a charity shop over here, but someone must have either imported it over or bought it off Amazon as an import, and then took it to a UK-based charity shop, and that's obviously where I saw it, so. There you go. Yeah, so this, as far as I'm aware, this isn't actually a UK release, so it's pretty cool for to actually have that so and finally on sash i bought this one actually about a month or so ago because when i went to see him live i was buying it to kind of mm. get hyped up for it and that's his best of album so this is will be the one that if you're a sash fan well, probably one of the best ones to get because it has just got like all of his best stuff on one so is that kind of new is that only just come out or something or no this was like this was like 2008 that's oh, so quite recent yeah Not and some of you may know hard to beat records very kind of prolific back then as well um, and obviously it also features um, raindrops where the song that yeah covered on Carmen Foire yeah, yeah yeah so oh yeah 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 they took the track yeah they, they took his feels like the raindrops on <laughs> my skin and um, what we're we gonna finish with the club land yeah, club land now I've not got every single album but I've had a good go because you know they're just great it's for what, they, what got they a few. yeah so, so what, what we might do is just take one each take one each off the pile and just this is one of the best ones, and people have actually stated it's actually the best. So it's the first one. First one. The first ever one. The ride of your life. Which is, yeah. Got some tunes on there as well. Got some kind of 
Kelly Lorena's Tell It To My Heart and um, Dee Dee's Forever, Entrance Forever. Oh, I can see what's sticking out to me straight away. Flip That's got pure tones. Addicted to bass. Ah, bass. what? Addicted to bass. You might as well be. You're addicted. Yeah. No. No, are you think you're totally addicted to bass? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that one. That's it. I and did get him really stuck though, did I? <laughs> I was singing a bit of Robert Palmer there, weren't I? <laughs> oh, well, you know, flip and, flip and feel shooting stars on there as well as um, Scooter's The Logical Song as well, which yeah. is Scooter, which is like, I loved Scooter, I really did. Yeah. Epic fan on Shox's part. Right, so, <laughs> Clubland 4, this one's the night of your life. I like what they did there. Um, yeah, so I think I own that one. Oh, you do own 4? Yeah. Well, it's, one of my favourite DJs is actually Ultra Beat. And he's on here, obviously, as well, and stuff like that. So pretty green eyes. Is it pretty green eyes? Pretty green eyes. They did that, but don't know if it was. Like sparkling and no, feeling fine. Now oh. I'm feeling fine. Yeah. So another great release. Club Blend Eleven. This is when the front covers start to get very appealing. Yes. So <laughs> Club Blend Eleven. Cascada's on here. I mean, Cascada was very, very prominent on Clubland releases as we know so this one's a never ending dream rihanna's umbrella and when we had umbrella out yeah all that time ago it, all that's that's about, the, about what 2007-ish then uh yeah oh bang on 2007 on the back <laughs> nice totally redeemed for the fail earlier it's also, <laughs> about, it's also about last night a dj saved my life from a broken heart um, yeah. Next song we've got is one of my favourites actually um, because it's very pumpy almost throughout and that's um, Clubland 16 so we are jumping quite a bit up but um, again it would just cost you too much to sort of collect them all but Clubland 16 it did actually come with another CD called Clubland Live oh someone's starting to drill stuff so apologies you can't hear us <laughs> how rude um, yeah when I originally bought this it came in a big box set and it had another CD behind it it's called Clubland Live which just had another album of really cool tracks Fortunately, I left it in the gym one day, as you do, when I was doing some exercise and stuff, and I left it behind by mistake. Someone nicked it, and um, this is actually a rebuy from a um, from Poundland. Poundland. So it only cost me a pound, but it did come with the other CD because I'd had to rebuy it. So, yeah, managed to gut it. It was my fault. I shouldn't have left it behind, and then went to run back and get it, and it gone already. So, but again, it's great because it's got like um, show. <laughs> it's great because it's got show coal on it. Oh, it's got show coal <laughs> on it. Yeah. That's one reason to buy. That's one reason to buy. No, no, it's got um, what's it got? Uh, Frankie. It's actually got a remix of Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Relax, don't do it, cool stuff. and stuff like that. So yeah, <laughs> Chicane's on there as well, hiding all the stars. Hey. <laughs> Jumping again. Nineteen. Nineteen. I'd moved off Clubland like well years before this. Well, this but... is when I started to get annoyed as well myself because when you get to sort of like eighteen, nineteen ish, you start to lose a lot of the pumpy um, beats and stuff. It starts to go a bit more commercial, a bit more R and B slowed down a little bit more people started to get a bit more like what's going on you know club lounge you're not what you used to be what's going on sort of thing it really started to change um whether it was for the better remains to be seen <laughs> but um yeah i started to get a bit annoyed at this point because i was just like hang on a minute where's all the, the, the you know pumpy stuff gone so yeah but again it's got some like prolific stuff like alexander stands with mr saxobeat yeah mr saxobeat and even Jesse J's price tag. Because oh, everyone should have a bit of Jesse J on oh, a club land CD. Yeah, it was a remix as well. <laughs> yeah, it's... but still. <laughs> yeah, it's still cool though. Is it me? Uh, oh, I'm going to do it anyway. It doesn't matter. So we're jumping. We're jumping 21. again. 21. 21. Yeah. 21. Oh, this is quite recent though, because it's got like two Lisa, two Lisa on it now. Yeah, um, is it? Is it? Um, oh, where is it? Where, is, where do you see it? Where do you see Talisa? Talisa. Oh, I'm so blind. <laughs> Give me for what I have done. That's what I mean. That's quite recent, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got um, some other. Um... Oh, Takabro's Takata. 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 I don't know. Um, and. Uh... I'm trying to think of one that just jumped out. It's got I Cheryl know. on it again, so it has. there's another reason to buy it. When you call <laughs> my name. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's got yeah. a mega mix of Pixie Lot as well. Uh, right, so next one, this is a huge box, this one, because at this point I come off the releases. We've since had like 24, I think 25 might be coming out, but yeah, I kind of trailed off because at this point I was like, well, uh, I just lost the, the interest uh, a little bit. Clubland started to just do more remixes, whereas the early ones was like actual. Like dance, dance DJs yeah, like, and, and artists tracks, like doing flip, their own tracks, and like Flip and Feel and Darren yeah. Styles and, and Ultra Beat and stuff. Which again, I I love those guys, and now it's like where they gone? They just disappeared. Yeah. Whereas suddenly. like on the later ones, they just take 
a song that's already in the charts and just remix it and give it a bit of a dance beat and then put it on the club land now. Yeah. It's like... And not only that, even when they do do that, you know, it's not fast as such. It's very kind of still like very yeah. mellowed out, which again is okay. But as I said before, these now start to sound like they're just part of the now that's what I call music compilation series mm. because yeah. that's all that's really they really sound like now. Um, but a really cheesy release they did do a bit a bit further back was that one called Clubland Euro Dance. Euro Dance. Eurodance, very prolific back in the 90s. <laughs> a lot of cheesy stuff. You've got things like the ketchup song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, and it's got like um, Gina G's Who Are Just a Little Bit. Um, and it's got Shares Believe. Hey, don't hate on Gina G. She actually won the Eurovision Song Contest for that. Oh, I wasn't hating. I just went, <laughs> ah, just a little bit. Um, Man by number five, a little bit of Monica in my oh life. <laughs> so it's very cheesy and very kind of early stuff, which everyone used to get down to back in the day. And even if it is like proper cheese stuff, you can't you help just it. have one of the best songs ever on there, which is Energy 52, Cafe Del Mar. One yeah, of the and best also, club tracks ever made. And also, boom, 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 whenever you say <laughs> whale. Well. Do you remember that viral video? That girl goes, oh, says a whale. So this one, this one's still available in shops. I've seen it recently in Tesco. It's complete, complete club land. This what is, does that say? It's the almost, ultimate ride of your life. Kind of a play on the first release that ever came out. Four CDs and eighty-four tracks, apparently. It's all. It's pretty much best of because all the old releases. So it's it's like the ultimate release. If you don't want to get any of the early releases, you just want to buy one CD. Just just get that because it is it is just awesome. I mean, without what I don't want to waste too much time, but. On the inside, it gives you pictures of all the releases, and obviously, yeah, it just opens out and like, you know, there you go. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. They're all different. I like the way they've done that. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Pretty sweet. Then we've got an earlier release, actually, which is almost like another best of, um, which like celebrating their 10 year anniversary a little while back, and that's Ultimate Clubland. Um, because if the Ultimate Ride wasn't Ultimate enough for you, <laughs> yeah. they actually made one called Ultimate. <laughs> Exactly. Even though, just to um, make people aware, that was actually released before that one. But still, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I just want nicely presented, and that this one opens up both ways. Yeah, quite. Like, I like the way they do that. The way they... I'm not really showing this very well. I'm crossing my hands over, but there we are. <laughs> um, so yeah. But again, yeah, again, it's another great release, full of loads of classic stuff. You've even got like um, um... Entrance set you free. When yeah. I hold you, babe. Is that a bit of special D ass on me as well? Yeah. Ka, ka, come with me. Come, ka, come with me. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> right, this one is proper like Clubland Bounce. It's like. Um, proper bouncing flow. Yeah, proper bouncing hook <laughs> lines. Almost yeah. like I put a donk on it. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Donk. But I don't know if that's actually on here. Donk, da donk, 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 donk. But that's sick, bro. Ah. <laughs> Electro. <laughs> oh, sick that, mate. <laughs> Techno. Techno. <laughs> awesome stuff. So yeah, this one's quite good as well. This is just proper like fast, bouncy, bouncy tunes, basically. Hence the name. Um, but yeah, it's got some cool stuff on there um, as well. Styles and Breeze. I love Styles and Breeze. Styles and Breeze. They're from like the old days. Yeah. Like, like happy hardcore days. They are Styles. And, and I used to like dancing DJs. I don't know if you remember them actually. Do you remember that song? <laughs> shake your shimmy, shimmy. Oh yeah. Shake that shimmy, shimmy. Don't be shy. <laughs> right. I've got the first one of this, uh, even though there is one. I've just got the second volume. But this is Clubland Classic. So again, this is almost like we're just trying sort of best offs now, really. Mm. Um, but this is another one that's got quite a few things that aren't on. Things although they all look like best offs. They still differ because a lot of tracks on one best of might not necessarily be on the other best of, but um, yeah, three volumes of other great tracks. Um, Lars Go. Oh, Lars Go. They were some dun, classic dun, tracks. Dun, 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 During like, the early 2000s, they weren't there. They were like, a bit later. Like, they weren't 90s, but they, no. were... they even did a remix of Ben Dulce's Ouch. Is it? Yeah. It actually <laughs> works well, though, believe it or not. Lady Gaga. I think we're alone now. Oh, yeah, just yeah. dance, yeah. Ian yeah. Van Dow reason. Must be a reason. There you go. And also, um, Soldier Boy, crack that. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Superman, that <at> hoe. <laughs> Why not you doing your spare time? <laughs> okay, so then we're on to the last two volumes, guys. We're doing well. Um, and these are basically the, the Euphoric Clubland releases. Um, so, in fact, I'll show you that way around. Because it's always, it's always um, do that way. You put Clubland 1 and 2. These I actually do like, but again, they're a bit more mellowed out as opposed yeah, to like well, proper like. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's meant to be a bit more yeah. kind of chilled out in a way. Um, so, you know, it's still great, don't get me wrong, but um, still I'm not, not like as kind of energetic. I'm, I'm kind of into like the Euphoric, more like ambient kind of trance kind of dance. 
Yeah, oh, I love plants anyway. You got Fragma Tokus Miracle. Yeah, you know, exactly. Girl, I need a miracle. I've met them as well. You've met Fragma, <laughs> yeah. have you? Alice DJ's <laughs> and you think you're better off. Oh, and um, Castles in the Sky. Nice. Oh, tell me why do we feel castles? Bit of on the moon. That's cool. <laughs> Did you used to like that song on the beach? Yeah, on oh, the beach, yeah. by York. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then last one in the Clubland series. I've got loads of trance albums, but this video would go on too long if I grabbed those as well. But anyway. Um, oh, Dombu. Dombu Nu. Dombu Nu. Class. Oh, and um, Infinity. Yeah. Here's my key. Infinity. A freak like me just needs that. Yeah, that's very easy. That is very euphoric. <laughs> You're a superstar. I, I kind of think the Shut euphoric up. stuff's kind of better. Everybody be cool. You be cool. <laughs> so, oh, there we go. That's my entire Clubland releases, um, Sash stuff, Positiva label singles, and other kind of miscellaneous 90s based dance CDs. It's all about dance. It's all about dance. What were your favourite artists when you were growing up? Are there any you still listen to? Um, if so, let us know some of your favourites and um, we'll, um, I'm sure we'll agree. Mm. Resurrection, PPK. Resurrection, that was a classic as well. That's it. <laughs> and um, what was that um, strings one? Sinister uh, strings. Oh, so. Dun, dun. Yeah. Even even Tiesto was good as well. Dark Shade for strings. Yeah. That's the one I was thinking of when you said oh, strings. It? Yeah. When oh, oh, when I said strings. Good. Ah. Sick. If if I don't we don't end the video here, I'm gonna think of too many more. So <laughs> we better do that. So thanks a lot for joining the two of us in a trip down dance lane. Nineties dance <laughs> slash yeah trance memory lane. Let us know what you think about your favourite artists and we'll see you very soon. And that's on. That's on.